welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to have you here mm -hmm. so um <clears throat> gemini i'm going to be doing a general tarot reading for you okay we will see what's happening in your relationship what is it that you uh, are doing how are you feeling what's happening okay this will be for a month okay so whenever you are watching this this will apply for a month now this is a timeless reading so you can watch it whenever and it can apply with you right so this is for gemini sun moon rising venus and north node and we are also going to see how you can prepare for new love to come into your life or prepare for love that already is there in your life and how to make yourself better in the process okay so let's see gemini sun moon rising venus and north node now with my meditation and energy i was feeling very aroused for some some of you so i'm getting that some of you are uh very very aroused uh maybe you want to like pursue someone something or uh like there's a lot of sexual energy that i was picking up very much tempted to uh bite that apple of desire you know break, like give in to your temptation and um maybe do things that you have never done before try things that you have never tried before okay because north node is also in gemini when i'm shooting this but again this can be any time you watch this you could be like this okay you could be sexually aroused and you're watching my video suddenly like instead of you know maybe you're just detoxing from like watching a lot of um you know um, porn movies and things like that you want to get rid of that obsession so you're you're like doing you're looking online for like remedies to heal your porn addiction issues and things like that okay if you're a masculine energy okay that's good work my loves that's good work okay because as a gemini you can be very scattered and you will always want to rely on those things to like satisfy you but then that is temporary and it fades right and then after that you just feel very tired and like you don't like it okay i'm i'm picking up that some of you don't like it and the other side of it i'm getting is some of you are very aroused because you haven't like had a partner in a very long time okay because we are doing a spread for pre preparing for new love so that's why i could have felt that that you know you are very aroused for new love to come into your life right beautiful my loves now those messages can merge as well where a person who is trying to get rid of porn addiction because they want a new love and they are preparing for new love who they don't want to disappoint because your past people have been disappointed by by your sexual uh, addictions or your fantasies or things like that because you are extremely scattered and you can't stay in one place so you play mind games and things like that okay so you want to get rid of that nature or you you are looking into it interesting so let's see my loves look at that chased and games <laughs> right so you're tired of the running and the chasing dynamics like when you run from the person this person starts chasing you and then you're like you're running from them because you're scared and not just scared but this could be like a mind game that you always play like you know when person is pursuing you you know uh to run away when it gets very real you know when it gets like uh very serious that's when you run away and then the person is like damn i'm having a headache why did this person leave me and you as a gemini you're like yeah that's that's how i play my games you know initially that's how it was hmm but i'm getting that you are trying to improve that aspect of yourself which is beautiful and now my throat is getting blocked because you know i'm speaking too much truth right now i'm not supposed to talk or something uh some forces are doing that but um okay okay try to do anything that you want you know i'm not going to stop <laughs> right i am a gemini moon myself so i'm never going to stop mm -hmm. all right so let's see my loves what is coming up for my gemini is in love gemini sun moon rising venus and north node for the timeless reading in love what's coming up for gemini in love what are the themes of gemini in love colors numbers interesting hmm So you see, like this, this like clock is floating away, and then there's stop. Maybe I'm I'm getting that you are planning to travel or something, or you want to travel to see someone. This could also be like a long distance connection with someone that you share. Okay, number thirty will be significant. Maybe you're thirty years old. Okay, but you're you maybe you're feeling like the Saturn return has been very heavy on you. Some of you are going through your Saturn return. Okay, because I see the clock. I see Saturn with the with the time here with the Saturn and the. a uh, 30 with the age here okay so that saturn elements um i'm getting that some of you are going through a saturn return right now so it's been very like chaotic like you you're having to let go of the old times and embrace the new times so maybe you are planning to travel to some other place uh, 
you know build a, a community of yourself and then things like that okay but now with 22 this is a master number you could be 22 years old while watching this but uh yeah this is talking about what feelings are you struggling to acknowledge okay so in love it's like um there are feelings that you maybe struggle to acknowledge gemini like it's very hard for you to understand your feelings uh because you usually think about your feelings you don't um you don't feel your feelings you think about your feelings right that's why that makes you extremely scattered like there are multiple feelings about a single situation like one two three four five six seven eight so there are like eight perspectives to one situation that you get wow and that's what makes you like there are eight different feelings that you're thinking that you're feeling about a person and a situation and that keeps you trapped so you run away right and the, those games occur because then you don't know how you feel so that makes you struggle okay what feelings are you struggling to acknowledge how do you see the world around you okay what is your perspective of the world around you do you see the world as a very dark place where you know you always have to play games because people are always going to play you they are always going to like uh, be deceitful and be greedy and be nosy and what is your perspective is it the negative side or is it that people can teach me something i'm meant to learn something i'm very curious about something so as a gemini you see the world as being like an array of possibilities and different variables and possibilities right variations and possibilities so you tap into those things as well but at times it could also bring you down and it could keep you trapped in a single way of seeing love or single way of uh, being which is that ego of yours that keep you tra keeps you trapped in a pattern or loop okay so you need to acknowledge your uh, struggles and your feelings about how you are feeling okay and what's not adding up in your life so there's some people that like you know behave in a certain way and that doesn't add up in your life so you're like like what, what why is he trying to do this what is happening well they are playing mind games with you okay especially if you have been genuine you have been kind you have been like you know all in with this person it's like you know there's something that just always doesn't add up about this person okay i'm picking up and it's always like in the air or there's nothing real about this there's nothing on ground it's all like in the air so nothing becomes materialized nothing become comes to reality because all it's all in the space now this could be you as well you do this to other people like you keep the relationship in space so it never comes down and grounds to reality because you're scared to face the reality of how many feelings you will feel once you really deeply feel okay you're scared of your feelings i'm picking up wow very deep gemini very deep already we're getting deep here jeep jeep so some of you own the jeep or jeep car or you want to buy a jeep car okay some of you are traveling by car somewhere you want to go on a vacation with your family friends your lover or you're planning one or you need to plan one in order to figure out your feelings for yourself okay and not keep everything in the air all the time right so let's see tell me about gemini's person Tell me about Gemini's new person or old person, whatever it may be. Sex. <laughs> My intuition was telling you this and it just fell out in front of you. You can see the synchronicity, right? And I'm a Gemini moon, so whatever I say, I know you. I know you guys because I know myself, so I know you guys, okay? So you're aroused and this person is aroused, so because this person... I'm, okay, now I'm going to give you multiple downloads on this, okay? Brace yourself, wear your seat belts, Gemini's, because I'm gonna take you on a mind ride. Okay. So this person, whoever you're dealing with, this person finds you extremely beautiful. Okay. Extremely, like you have no idea. Now, if you don't know this person, this person is stalking you th through fake social accounts. Okay. And I'm getting that uh, they check up on your post to see what you're posting, what you're doing, what you're thinking. Because look at this guy. Like he's literally looking into her when she's looking down. So it's like whatever you're emoting, whatever you're doing, this person is like micro analyzing your expressions or there's this micro expression reading thing that uh, are done on criminals, right? This person has studied that micro expression. So they're trying to study you or maybe they do face reading okay and they're trying to read your face because um or they're taking a course on face reading or things like that <laughs> okay but uh if you're dealing with uh, another person now this could be a past person a new person whoever it may be just see how it relates with you okay 
So this person is extremely sexually aroused by how you look, your strength, your determination. Maybe you really work out a lot, you keep yourself fit, okay? Or this person is into lean bodies or into like... So I'm getting that this person is, even if they love lean body, they will never let you know that they love it because then they know that you will feel too, um, like you will feel too validated within the connection and they don't want that. So they don't validate you within connection, okay? Which is why you feel like in the air, like you don't know what's happening because this person never like confirms things that you feel that they will, they will because you dress up for them, you do things for them, but uh, they don't confirm those things for you, okay? Very interesting. Now, some of you are dealing with a person who definitely um, shags to your picture. Okay, I'm getting that like very heavily. Okay, so trigger warning if you guys don't like all this. If you guys don't like me talking about this, you can definitely like unsubscribe. Okay, I'm not here and I'm not going to like not share my truth about what I'm seeing in the cards. Okay, so this person definitely spies on you and this person definitely... Um, does things to your photos or maybe they just open your photo and your videos and they just like try to like uh, do things to it okay very very interesting uh okay disgusting i got a very disgusting view of what was coming in like somebody like licking your pictures okay very interesting but um okay so uh very high sexual energy okay now this could be you as well take it how to list maybe this is your person this is you okay so uh, you could be highly sexually aroused as well. This person who you're dealing with is very sexually aroused. Now, people you deal with in your relationships can also be like very sexually arousing. So you meet people who are very sexually like into you and want to like sex you up everywhere, like go out in the mountains and like have sex with you and things like that. So they're bringing out that side of you, which you try to like suppress, okay, which you try to like not show too much to people. And yeah, because uh, really getting with a person scares you, okay. Or feelings grounding into reality by material expression of pleasure it scares you so do you feel disconnected to yourself and others what do you need to feel more loving okay because uh, I'm getting that this person or you whoever this is whoever this side is relating to uh, you are um, I mean this person whoever it is is doesn't feel like they are lovable okay which is why they are scared of love and you are also mirroring that or this person is also mirroring that so you don't feel like you are you deserve to be loved or you deserve to be supported and cared for in a very deep layer of that subconscious belief because of your past or whatever it may be okay mm, yeah because in the past maybe like your mom and dad like they never gave you that loving support so you always felt like you had to please others in order to, order to gain their support or you had to like manipulate them in order to gain their support right so do you feel your needs are not being met right so yeah there could be some sexual needs that are not being met so you, you know your partner is having to do certain things in order to like make them <laughs> make them happen and things like that right let's get one more card and then we'll get into your tarot cards but yeah this is like um, this person wanting to take out take you out and when when they take you out it's like they observe every aspect of you okay they observe everything they analyze everything or this is you you analyze everything in your woman like you know how is she what is she behaving like um you know what will please her right now what should i do how should i present myself uh, it's a constant thing with you because there are there are like eight different angles that you're looking at this woman with with your gemini uh, energy Let's see, what else? So give me a mutual energy for both the parties within this connection, be it new love, old love. So the new love will be, uh, again, very aroused by you, overly sexual, wanting to uh, have sex with you, okay? Or there could be a lack of sex, okay? There could be also a lack of sex within the dynamic, which is causing this person to think more and more about it, okay? Very interesting. Tell me more, please. Wow, that's a lot of cards, but I will take flow, okay? Yeah, intuition and we have magic. Beautiful. Okay, but I won't take those. I'm taking the flow. So the mutual energy between you guys, look how beautiful my loves. Wow. See that? And that's like literally waterfalls as well as like light rays. It's like both, you know, it's like a different dimension altogether. So both of you, you flow with each other, but you flow when like... Uh, like it says, okay, let me read this. So you can't control life's events. You can only control how you deal with them. It's easier to go with the flow when life challenges you. Emotion can overflow unless you release them. 
Wow. So I'm getting that the patterns within your relationship and dynamic is that you overflow with uh, emotions once your emotions are not being acknowledged within the relationship. Okay. That's when you like burst out into emotions or you like because Gemini, it's not like you don't have emotions. Okay. That's what people think is very wrong. Okay. Because uh, as a Gemini, as an air sign, you're like uh, always in the past, present and future at the same time. Okay, you're in the past, you're in the present, you're in the future at the same fucking time. So it's very difficult for you to ground your energy, right? But spirit is like you need to flow with whatever life is throwing at you. If a person is coming to you with an overly sexual energy, you need to understand them and why they are doing what they're doing rather than being very superficial and moving on from them and not giving them the time of day. Like why is this person being sent to you by the universe? Is it because of some unhealed traumas within you that need res resolution? Are you attracting player types of men because because there's some some unhealed trauma within you where you cannot go with the flow because you have to control every aspect or every angle of the circumstance to fulfill what you want okay there's a lot of intuition that wants to wake up into you you know spirit is like listen i'm getting like spirit wearing specs so spirit also has to wear specs to look at <laughs> i'm sorry gemini but it's like spirit has to like literally wear, i don't know why i'm getting the spirit wearing specs but yeah spirit has to wear specs to give you intuition because you don't follow your intuition you don't like to flow and men you attract or women you attract are always with the flow and they bring so much flow and gushing energy and waterfalls and like they they want to blow you away blow your mind away because it's like you're coming with so many different perspectives and spirit wants to wants you to like understand every variable and every possibility within that one connection okay rather than like scattered in every different connection and having like eight different partners at the same time and sexing all of them up and going with the flow in that circumstance because that pattern is something ancestral and you need to heal that pattern you have to like release that okay now I'm, i can talk like hours on this but i'm not gonna continue now i'm gonna get my tarot cards out right my loves and we'll see what's coming up for you in love how can you prepare for new love okay you need to flow i'm getting sexual flow so you need to flow with your sexuality if you're feeling extremely sexual and aroused i'm getting you need to flow with it if you need to um if you are not able to control certain things that's because spirit is trying to push you into your sexuality because you've been too much in your head and you've been over analyzing and spirit is like okay you need to release okay be it through meditation if you don't want to like go sexually you do it through meditation right I'm getting root chakra meditation will be very important. Root and sacral chakra, okay? So let's see, my loves. Now we will do the preparing for love spread for you guys, okay? What is it that you're meant to do to prepare for new love or prepare for your old love to come back? How can you prepare for love to come in your life? How can you welcome love in your life, you know? Rather than being scared of it, being like doubtful, being um, overly uh, critical about people, right? Or being extremely superficial, like just moving in and out, in and out, and not like uh, grounded. Okay. I'm also seeing that you keep seeing like numbers two two two, six six six, uh, two seven two seven, or twenty seven is important. It could be your age as well, twenty seven, twenty two. Okay. I'm also getting that you feel disconnected while sex or you imagine like your partner, the people that you meet, imagine other people while they are with you sexually wow or you imagine other people sexually while you are with them oh gemini wow all right let's see let's see my love so the first card is what are your feelings concerning love in your heart what are your feelings concerning love in your heart for gemini sun moon rising venus and not known six of pentacles in reverse moon immediately blockage I'm seeing blockage. Okay, but let's keep it here. What are your thoughts concerning love, which is your head? Your thoughts are powerful. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get a few more cards here. Three. Four. Four. Five, five, six, 
for Gemini 6. Okay. 7. Seven and eight. Beautiful. Even Aquarius got this. You could you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or uh, I'm being guided to tell you to watch Aquarius reading, reading. I don't know what's wrong with me. Reading, leasing. You might be leasing a place for yourself, or you want to lease, or you want to lease a person for yourself. <laughs> Gemini. <laughs> and we have King of Swords. That's you at the bottom of the deck. Look at you. Look at you. Okay, in your power. All right. So let's see. We have all the cards laid out here. Okay. So the first two cards for you, my loves. The first card basically is six of pentacles in reverse and moon. Okay. So how you see love uh, within your heart is uh, is a source of disappointment. Okay, like you've been disappointed in your heart so many times by giving your all to people, by being generous, being kind, being um, being this person who uh, pleases other person or pleases the other person in a way that they're satisfied. Okay, sometimes you've overdone it. Okay, and now it's like the beliefs that you have formed within your energy is... Um, that you need to play games, okay, be it by like spending money on your person or, you know, that'll, that will that is what will bring me love is what I'm picking up. Like in your heart, you feel that um, that love is like never meant to be or it's an illusion, love is fake or love is not real. Um, so it's all about money or it's all about like practical things or about how many people I can have at the same time. Okay, for men, I'm picking up this. For women, I'm picking up that there's some mother issues. Also for men, I have mother issues here as well. But um, mother issues that you have not healed from your childhood, okay? Where uh, maybe your mother did not give you that heartfelt love that you wanted or that you uh, expected from your mother to give you, okay? Because uh, that is what you wanted out of her, but you never got it, okay? And I'm getting that when you love, you love very deeply, okay, Gemini? that's also i'm picking up like even though you're a gemini you're a sign of being very scattered and things like that but when you love you love very deeply i'm picking up right you could be a gemini moon you see the moon there so you could be a gemini moon heavily here i'm picking up or gemini sun of course but i have all the placements gemini sun moon rising venus and north north right so yeah uh with the six of pentacles because this upright talks about like generosity being the generous person always wanting to give and receiving equal amounts of love back uh, and expecting to receive equal amounts back or expecting to re receive literally nothing at all but i'm getting that with this in reverse it's like you always expect things to go a certain way and they don't they don't so in your heart you feel very damaged that when you try to control certain things why don't they happen the way you want them to and that's because universe is like literally wearing a specs <laughs> <laughs> because you know your thoughts are so wild that spirit has to control it in different ways you know to block your flow so that you can realize that you need to stop and understand your traumas okay so you have a deep 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 wound here and you don't feel generous in love you don't feel open-hearted in love you feel like um you have to be the bigger person sometimes you can manipulate with money sometimes you can try to have an ego trip that you know this person is uh, in a higher social class than me and i'm in a lower social class maybe i have a, a job which is not well like you know it's not respected in the community as much as your persons so whatever it may be these are such superficial thinkings that you have regarding within your heart as well that this is what will make my heart happy but your heart genuinely is not happy it's like you always feel that things are superficial Okay, and you stop giving to the person because you know that it's going to lead to some illusion, some falsity, something that is uh, shown as being real but it's not at all, and you realize it later and you know it. So, you always come to the relationships with this energy of not feeling generous from your heart because you're always doubtful and you're always casting illusions in relationships. Okay, through your heart, so you you completely enclose your heart you you make your heart a complete secret for the other person to unravel and that's how you keep people interested 
is what I'm picking up and that's your trauma my loves okay maybe your mother did this to you literally like she never gave you that love or that mm-hmm. reciprocity or that level of like conviction of like yes uh, I know what my heart believes in I, I know how I love no matter how my mother did it no matter how my father did it it's like you need to reparent yourself within this okay within your heart about love now the next card is uh, about your thoughts, right? About your thinking, about your mind. Now, your mind is about, like, your mind thinks that love is all about money, okay? Or love is all about practicality. It's all about how to make things practical or grounded or stable. But at times, this could also become stubborn. So, um, your thoughts about love are very stubborn. Like, you become very stubborn when it comes to love. Uh, you also want to commit. I'm, I'm picking up that... Um, you want somebody who's commitment material but because your heart is not pleased with anybody that comes along and um because you have been uh, broken in the past in some way so um it's difficult for you to rely and in your thoughts you're like only money matters you know look at that guy looking at the coin like yeah so only money matters right and that's how you look at uh, love Okay, you look at love with this masculine perspective of like um, that I have to do and that I have to be a certain uh, person to prove my worth, you know. And I'm picking up that Gemini is you need to level up now. You need to level up to this king of pentacles status. You need to level up to a person who can commit, who can stay within that commitment and explore every facet of that relationship with your mind, with that one relationship. Instead of like scattering your energy because, you know, with one person that's like one whole world that you can explore but you don't have that much patience it's like you think that in the world there's so much variety that you can't stick to your things in one in one situation okay so it's important that of course you think about the practical uh terms like you know you but but the way that you think about love is that it's very boring i'm also picking up that it's very boring or um like love the concept of love in your mind is very boring so you need to move out of that you need to move out of that um you know wearing the armor and being ready for like something to like happen and then you needing needing to manipulate and you know be there i'm also getting that you in your mind think that if you have a lot of money that you can earn a lot of love from people so in your mind it's like if you have a lot of money a lot of things in your life material is material goals you know that's when you will receive money in your uh, receive uh, love in your life or genuine love or uh, a love that you know you can a love or a person that you can buy things for that will make them happy okay now this could be a part of your love language where you love to gift things you love to buy things but at times you you make it extremely twisted with your um the the way you cast illusions on people just because you have money is also what i'm picking up or there's some money related issue with your connections like there's some social standing issues where you feel like if this person is less than or more than there's a lot of variables that you see right i can go more deep in that but i don't want to spend too much time on one card right because then that will um already we're 27 minutes up right which is nine again wow um yeah so with the nine energy it's like being alone and happy being alone right and that's a good thing but maybe you've been happy alone for a very long time and now you're meant to change and transform that pattern into something else right which is why you're feeling aroused and divine is like okay okay go for it now right so um now definitely i'm I'm getting that in your expectations you you expect the person to commit to you completely okay you expect your person to bow down to you hear your thoughts you want your person to acknowledge you but also commit to you like on a long term you want commitment from them but in your heart about love it's like it's it's that you have to cast illusions to keep them in love to you with you you cannot reveal to them your vulnerabilities it's very hard for you to do so right uh because you're not generous in love right in your heart you feel like you can't be generous because then they will see your weak spot of being generous and they will abuse you for your generosity okay because someone someone in your childhood abused your generosity but uh, your expectations are that you want a long term commitment you know internally even if you don't know it you want to commit to a person because again look at that your thoughts and your expectations both align with each other king of pentacles is a person who definitely commits to one woman and he doesn't have to go anywhere else to um seek that uh fulfillment that pleasure that variety maybe that one person who you are actually underestimating can do everything for you that um maybe none of the other women can actually deliver could ever actually deliver to you 
but you have never explored that aspect because you're too scared to understand a person too deeply right but at the same time you want it you see both the poles in the same pole that's gemini right so both the opposite poles in the same pole so yeah you you expect commitment you expect loyalty you expect a uh, long term uh, stability be it through traditional uh, cultural um commitment or be it through any form of commitment that you want to have with this person you expect love to have a long term commitment within your life okay be it you're a woman or a man okay don't take the genders of the cards as something very specific you this is just your psychology that we are talking about right so you expect commitment out of love you you expect long term commitment and uh, a definition to your relationship that you can show to the world you know you believe in that uh, right you believe in the fertility of the relationship so uh <clears throat> now the the kind of people that you're drawn to okay because look at that six of pentacles in reverse is your heart right and now we have seven of pentacles in reverse see that so because you are like this you expect commitment you expect loyalty and uh somewhere you know your thoughts are that you need to be very practical you need to earn a lot of money to make yourself stable and that's when you will commit to somebody and that's that's also a healthy thought okay that once you're stable in your life that's when you can commit to a person that's also very stable and if that's not the case you have to be on that path to attract love in your life right or to prepare for new love in your life right that's what we are doing here but the kind of people that you attract because your heart is so damaged is the kind of people that think that you're a waste of time <clears throat> literally people think that you're a waste of time or that they wasted their time on you or that they wasted their energy their years their effort their uh, loving and kind energy and um, on you because you're so scattered and you don't know what you want and you show that as an illusion to protect yourself right from showing your true self which is you want to commit right so it's like um, people think that you know they they shouldn't have ever ever met you ever invested in you and that again perpetuates the vicious cycle of you feeling like you, you cannot be generous because then people think that you're a waste of time and that's how you attract people my loves because your heart is damaged okay your thoughts and your um, expectations are very much aligned with what you want but your heart is like fucked up it's all over the place okay and to heal your heart you need to flow you cannot control every situation you cannot control your heart when it falls for someone you need to flow within that falling and free fall into that flowing right and you can't free fall in love like it's it's very difficult or you cannot rise in love as well you know it's very difficult for you so yeah you attract people who feel like they've wasted their several years on you maybe there's, there's like a seven year relationship that you went through five year relationship but these people think that they, it's a waste of time because you're not really, really giving generously to them and you're casting illusions and you're making them uh, worry about like things which are not even real or because you just chase and you run and you play games right wow and i'm also getting that suddenly you just stop giving or you stop feeling about another person suddenly you can switch off your feelings like that and that fucks up another person psychology like literally okay and generally you're not like that but you portray yourself like that and that that mask itself is like draining you my loves now okay so let's see the next card we have for you is 3 of cups okay now hold on so this is the kind of <laughs> hold on hold on hold on So this is the guy. One second, one, two, three, four, five. So hold on. So like I was saying, the seven of pentacles here, where you know people feel that you are a waste of time and things like that. This is the kind of people that you are actually drawn to, literally. Like you are drawn to people who think that you are not worth it. You are drawn to such people. Like initially, also, like if they they don't think that you are enough, that's when you pursue them. that's when you start pursuing like okay she doesn't think i'm shit let me let me pursue her or he doesn't think i'm shit wow okay let me let me chase right that's that's the kind of people you're attracted to because you you are you have not healed your heart and <clears throat> the people that are drawn to you are people who want to be your friends or acquaintances or someone who um, is always in a third party situation or you're always dealing with drama with third party okay you're drawn to people who emotionally support you but in a very friendly way or you could be drawn to a lot of different uh, types of women or uh, you know different types of ethnicities different type of races like variety right so yeah you're drawn to different types of people and 
um, you attract a lot of different types of people who are very friendly towards you, who emotionally support you, who care for you, right? Uh, who are there for you? They have your back, or they they listen to you. Um, that's 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 the kind of people you attract. But the people that you're literally drawn to are like literally toxic people who have like who think that they waste time on love or. Uh, time is uh, like w- time is a waste of love or love is a waste of time i don't know why i said the opposite but yeah okay that was the first download so time is a waste of love <laughs> interesting okay so the next card out we have for you my loves is um how can you prepare to welcome a healthy loving connection in your life okay how can you prepare for a healthy connection in your life now this is temperance in reverse okay so this talks about you're you're very imbalanced my love when it comes to your attributes about balancing yourself now you could be dealing with a sagittarius this is sagittarius card in reverse but this talks about like you 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 really don't know how to be an equal partner okay there's there's a difficulty to be equal with your partner like the more you feel that this person is equal to you the more it triggers you because you don't want someone someone to be your equal you want only yourself to be like higher than the rest or there's just this holier than thou or mightier than thou or that kind of an energy that i'm picking up okay so um to prepare for a healthy connection you need to let go of this attitude of feeling inferior to the person because they have something more than you or something that they are better at you can't compete in love i'm i'm picking up that you start competing with people in love about money or that's why you think that you know uh, money and stability is the most important because um there's a sense of competition and through that you feed your ego to go in the same loop and same pattern again and again right and spirits like stop it stop it you cannot do this all the time okay and you need to prepare by being balanced by expect accepting a partner who is as equal to you as you are and you're scared of that like if someone is equal to you maybe they can dominate you maybe they can control you maybe they can uh, sabotage you maybe they can like um have more contacts and they can like um do something behind your back and um reveal certain things about you and there's just so many doubts here and this has been like maybe instilled by someone very close to you in your family it could also be your mother i'm sorry trigger warning but could be okay like uh like somebody that li- literally paranoid you since your childhood so now you feel paranoid without money and without like equal footing with your lover so spirit is like angels are here to assist you but you don't accept assistance from the angels you're like no thank you i don't want your assistance no divine no spirit and that's not good okay divine is like you need to have patience in love you need to have patience to know the other person because angels take time to mix the energies to balance the opposite energies right and i'm getting that you always attract like opposite partners to you who don't believe in the same things as you do and it kind of causes or like a problem because again people that you attract or you are attracted to are people who literally feel like you are a waste of their energy right you are attracted to that so spirit is like stop it and um i'm also getting that stop addiction so maybe you get addicted to sex or you get addicted to a lot of different people and having sex with a lot of people that's literally an ancestral pattern that you are repeating since millennia and you need to get rid of it from your own red blood like it's it's you you're polluting your blood by doing the same thing that your ancestors have done i repeat myself you are polluting the blood of your ancestors by doing the same thing your ancestors are literally pissed off with you about this they're like what the hell we did the same thing and we have to release our karma through your blood cells but because you won't know and you you're not understanding what we're saying we are pissed off and we we don't know how to help you then so to prepare for love you need to turn this card upside uh, on the upside which is letting the sun shine on you letting you experience the rainbow in love letting you experience all the blessings that love has to offer from that person that you love that you can dive deep into okay and moderation like having calm cool and collected energy when it comes to yourself okay because i'm i'm getting that when you don't have love or when you don't have real love and you know that you don't have love you overindulge in substances addictions or sexual addictions or um any form of addiction porn addiction i was telling you right addictions i, I was getting it initially as well the cards also say it now here wow deep guys deep gemini deep okay so now we have um so what can you do to be happily single until 
लव नॉक्स एट योर डोर ओके सो वॉट कैन यू डू अंटिल यूर सिंगल यू हैव टू नो द बैलेंस बिटवीन वॉट यू आर वर्किंग ऑन राइट नाउ ओके लाइक मे बी देर आर सेवरल आइडियाज दैट यू आर जगलिंग ओके दे कुड बी वन जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट कुड बी दे कुड बी अनादर जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी दे कुड बी वन पर्सन दे कुड बी अनादर पर्सन एंड यू आर जगलिंग बिटवीन द टू इट्स लाइक स्पिरिट इज लाइक डिसाइड वॉट यू वॉन्ट दर्ज अ डुअलिटी टू यू यू आर अ जेमन आई ओके साइन ऑफ डुअलिटी सो यू ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू लाइक जगल टू पीपल एट द सेम टाइम एंड इट्स वेरी कन्फ्यूजिंग इवन फॉर यू इवन दो यू इन योर थाट्स इवन इन योर माइंड जेमन आई रूल्स अ माइंड योर माइंड सेज दैट यू वॉन्ट अ कमिटमेंट यू वॉन्ट अ बोरिंग अ प्रैक्टिकल अ स्टेबल रिलेशनशिप बट एट द सेम टाइम यू फाइंड इट बोरिंग अगेन सी माई बोरिंग वर्ड केम आउट जस्ट विदाउट अ थॉट लाइक दैट वॉज इंट्यूशन राइट ऑन यू फील इट्स बोरिंग दैट्स वाई यू सेपरेट आउट योर सेल्फ and you're like no angels thank you bye bye i don't want to see you again <laughs> like you know that that's that that's the energy that i'm picking up from you guys okay so to be happily single in your life you are meant to learn how to um how to tap into the singularity rather than the duality that you're always um shuffling back and forth from okay and with this energy i'm also getting that you're meant to learn how to balance your energies within yourself you know there's one aspect of yourself which um loves a person and the uh, the other aspect which hates the person at the same time and that's how you love a person like you usually love and hate a person at the same time when you deeply in love with someone and then when that happens it's like obviously i cannot commit to them because i hate them also and then boom you you crash i'm getting so to be happily single until you're doing you focus on your work i'm getting focus on your money focus on building your your strength your wealth your money okay focus on your legacy okay and um, even in the emotionally tumultuous tumultuous waters i'm getting that you learn to balance yourself okay because the ships will be coming in i'm getting ships are coming in for you it's just that you don't know it you don't know it yet there's new love coming into you you don't know it yet but until it comes you are not meant to like drown yourself in like substances and addictions and feeling lack of love and um being aroused but not knowing where to go and things like that don't do that okay focus on your work focus on balancing yourself balance is the key here if you don't balance yourself you will not have a love that you deserve to keep for the long term okay now um what relationship advice do you need to focus on right now this is chariot card even aquarius got this okay so this is like again two different thought forms one is love one is hate both are running the show damn it so you're confused you're like where am i heading you don't even know where you're heading because your head is in the clouds okay so spirit is like your may or meant to conquer both these aspects and make make both the horses run in a single direction your love and hate needs to be directed to one person and penetrate into that one person and then you blow that person open with different perspectives of your intellectual analysis and how you can like get different aspects from this person and if this person is not able to deliver those aspects then you move on to the next until you find that person man because i'm getting that you are extremely like you're trapped in your head and uh, like you need to get out of it my loves you need to again okay? with this reading i'm getting that it's working on you you're understanding damn this is exactly what my fears are she's saying it okay she's saying it that's because i'm a gemini moon i understand you guys because i understand myself okay right so with this you are going to triumph above all of these things you are about to triumph but there could be your ego that takes over the show and when the ego takes over it's like again the fight between good and bad dark and light the fight there's no fight between the dark and light they both exist in order to create and destroy i'm getting creation is a destruction and disguise right so they are both parts of the same pole hate and love are part of the same pole <laughs> okay that's what the the duality has to be merged into singularity with this my loves within you okay and you need to realize the truth behind who you really are that is you king of swords Ra like rational logical you know you speak your truth to people you speak your truth in love okay you you let the other person know how you feel okay and sometimes you could be lacking feelings but you know how to take care of your person you don't go cold on them you don't try to sabotage them right and once you speak your truth about how it is that you see love that's when your shadow side will be unchained by you okay you you will not have to deal with your shadow side because this is your shadow side like people feel your your relationships people feel scared of you some of them have seen your dark side and they feel scared like oh my god if we see that again i mean run from this person before we waste a single moment of our time so it's like that 
you need to you need to let go of that okay let go of that attitude that you have to control everything and surrender to the flow because you can't control life's events you can only control how you deal with them it's easier to go with the flow when life challenges you emotions can overflow unless you release them right my love so we're already 44 minutes up now let me get an advice card for you that was deep gemini but i had to do this for you because um this is a timeless reading whenever you watch this this will help you right so very very important for you to know your blockages for why new love is not coming in and what you can do about it right so let's see what is an advice for you pertaining to the spread what is an advice for my beautiful gemini's my gemmy gems my gems <laughs> my genius gemini's that's how i call you guys actually my genius gemini's let's see Please give me an advice pertaining to the spread. What is the advice for Gemini pertaining to the spread? There you go. A fork in the road. See? Which direction should I go to? Which direction? There are so many people. One, two, three, four, five. There are so many directions that I could go to that I'm stuck now. I don't know where to go. And spirits like that's a fork in the road. That's literally your mind. Your mind is like a fork in the road, literally. You, can, you know, because you have so many possibilities that you can end up with. And that's a beautiful quality, my loves. I'm not criticizing that. But the fact that so many possibilities can block you from getting rid of your ancestral trauma, that agitates me. That specific issue agitates me. Between worlds. You see? So Gemini, you are between worlds. You are the dark, you are the light. You are both in one pole. You are both. Okay? You are both the size. The light and dark within one person. So, um, it's difficult to handle your energy. And I get it. Okay? I get it. But you need to heal issues. Okay? From your past. That are dragging you down, my loves. Okay? And spirit will open many paths for you. Once you heal yourself, spirit will open many paths to you. But you need to realize that there is something wrong with you. And you need to heal it. If you don't think there's anything wrong with you, you're perfect and everything is fine and you're moving on and yeah, let, let's see like what, what other girls are available tomorrow. Let me see who's on my list, right? I don't know, but you need to look at yourself in the mirror once and see how many people you've literally hurt and, um, and stop looking for people who literally want to waste your time or who think that you are a waste, okay? Stop chasing those people because they're playing games with you and you like that for some reason. Okay, 13. <clears throat> There's a karmic number as well, 13, okay? Fork in the road. Time to make a decision considering the consequences as you prepare to act. Owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. Every choice has a consequence. You have arrived at a fork in a road and you are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the road less travelled or the one well worn by others who have come before you? This is your choice and yours alone to make. Circumstances and other people will not make it for you. Be present and do not avoid this junction, for it is an important crossroads. Take heart as no matter which path you choose, you will have rich and meaningful experience. Relationship message. You have reached a moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship. Which will you choose to? Which will you choose? To open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated? To go deeper and commit to mutual passion or to walk away? This is a time to take responsibility for your truest desire and follow it. Be honest with yourself about what you are willing to do. Invest and give. Then choose. You see, my loves? You see? Everything that I have been saying in the reading is just being confirmed here. Be honest with yourself about what you are willing to do. To invest and to give then choose you know you have to come with a giving heart before you try to see if they are going to give you if they are going to give if they don't then i'm going to play game no enough gemini enough okay so then you choose um you cannot make a wrong choice if you move forward with a relationship know that it will be based in truth and authenticity you will have made a conscious decision rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone or ending things because you are afraid of the intensity of genuine connection. See, there's a scare. You, you feel scared of genuine connections, literally. So, all roads lead to the lessons you must learn in your relationships. Regardless of the decision you make, it will place you on the path to truer experience of the heart. Right? 
you see that my loves everything is being confirmed the confusion in your head about where to go which place to go right and you need to watch the aquarius reading as well i'm being told to tell you prosperity message you have come as far as you can on this path of your journey and now you're faced with a choice inherent in this choice is the need for change for evolution and for a bettering of your circumstances narrow it down to just a single question who do i need to become and what do i need to believe in order to live a prosper a prosperous life answer honestly and from the heart then the decision about which way to go will be effortless know that abundance is all around you okay there's infinite possibilities gemini there's infinite abundance okay don't keep your mindset limited in your abundance um know that abundance is all around you choose to see it and it will be easier to settle on a direction for the way will be made clear by your intuition which knows how to steer you towards your well being right my loves so gemini this is what i have for you i hope that you enjoyed this reading please let me know in the comments down below how you like this spread for you specifically that i got out okay i wanted to read one of these cards from the book but i think my intuition did a pretty good job at like describing everything even before the any of the cards were out so please let me know you know i i make a lot of efforts to um, do these videos please comment please like and share whichever videos receive the most likes will be the next zodiac sign that i upload so make sure that you are always putting that thumbs up okay and helping me out here right mm -hmm. now if you want a private reading all the details are in the description box below for my link tree link mm -hmm. you can donate to my channel you can donate to my channel you can uh, donate through paypal you can also donate decks which i can use for you guys so if you find any deck in my wish list which you would like to gift me with your generous heart okay um then you can definitely do that okay because now is the time for generosity gemini okay end the cycles of not being generous in your life in general towards love especially right my loves so i love you all so 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 much and peace